This video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to because it's going to be all me on camera today. Yay! This video is going to be about five things that you should know about Xamarin Forms 5. Let's go! So the five things you need to know about Xamarin Forms 5. Let's start with number five, which is my personal favorite because it is about the UI web view removal. So if you've been following with Xamarin Forms for a little while, then you might know that whenever you try to publish your app to the Apple App Store, um, you would get a message back, a warning so far, that you would have to get rid of like every reference to the UI web view because Apple has a replacement, the WK web view, uh, for a little while. But the problem is that Xamarin Forms was still referencing the UI web view. So what we did somewhere early on is um, replace that renderer because Xamarin Forms works with renderers. So we replace that web view renderer with the WK web view renderer um, in hope that the reference would disappear. But guess what? It didn't. Um, so we worked with the Xamarin iOS team to, um, you know, also apply like the linking behavior, which basically um, gets rid of all the APIs that you're not using in the app. It will just throw them away. Um, and, and that causes some issues sometimes. Uh, but that wasn't applied to Xamarin Forms. So each type would still be in that Xamarin Forms um, binary, including the UI web view, which caused a lot of issues for people because they couldn't get rid of that UI web view. So we worked with the Xamarin iOS team to enable some kind of compiler flag that would take out that reference um, so that people could, uh, again, apply their apps for the App Store. And I personally, um, other on, others on my team as well, but me personally have taken up the challenge to um, um, answer as many questions as there were out there, helping as many people as I could that were having problems with this. Um, so, you know, my personal favorite is this one um, because in Xamarin Forms 5, the web view renderer is dropped. Um, the UI web view reference is not there. You don't have to do anything special anymore. You can just use Xamarin Forms 5, don't do anything else, and you can release your app to the iOS App Store. Um, if you're using a, a, a lower version than Xamarin Forms 5, you can still do it, but you have to jump through a couple of hoops, set a couple of things up right, and then you can still do it. But if you have the possibility, upgrade to Xamarin Forms 5, and you will have no problem at all. Then, number four, the experimental features will disappear. Poof. So there was a number of experimental features in, uh, well, all the way up to Xamarin 4.8, um, the, the expander, the media element, the C-sharp for markup stuff. Um, I think the brushes and the uh, shapes and paths were all experimental. Um, so some of those actually were like, you know, we're stable and um, um, those are good to go. So they will stay in Xamarin Forms 5. Um, others will be removed like the C-sharp markup, the expander and the media element. Were there any more? I don't think so. Um, those are moved to the Xamarin Community Toolkit, uh, which is a toolkit that is being ran by the community, by you. You can contribute, um, but I've been involved as well. So this has a special place in my heart. Um, and um, we've moved all those things there, including a couple of other great controls. So keep your eye on this channel. I will definitely be posting more content about that. Um, but so, you know, you have to, if you've been using one of those experimental features, you will have to be on the lookout because because they are removed. You can remove all the references to enable the um, experimental flags, not needed anymore, but watch out for a couple of them because they are removed and you will need the um, Xamarin Community Toolkit to drop in to still use those features. They haven't gone away. You just have to change the namespace basically and they're all the same. The Xamarin Community Toolkit will have a stable release by the time Xamarin Forms 5 stable will come as well. So don't worry about that. Number three, three, three. Um, let's talk about breaking changes. Um, technically, the other two were breaking changes as well, but there's a couple of other like more minor, well, depends on your situation, I guess, um, breaking changes that have been out there. So they have dropped support for Visual Studio 2017. You can now just use um, Xamarin Forms 5 from Visual Studio 2019 and up. And of course, uh, Visual Studio for Mac still supported as well. So no problem at all, um, but just something to have on the lookout for because, you know, I hopefully you're on Visual Studio 2019, uh, but if not, well, find out a way to go to 2019. Um, another thing is like, you know, in light of all the um, naming things that might be sensitive to some people, they've renamed the master detail page to, good question. 
what did they rename it to? I don't know, but they've renamed it. So find out, let me know what they renamed it to so I can learn something as well. Um, but they have renamed it. So um, if you're using that, then you will have to do a little rename yourself. Um, but other than that, all the properties, all the workings are just there. So nothing else should change beside that. Then for number two, we're building up to the big finale, um, which is going to be a little disillusion now that I think of it. But number two, pretty awesome control templates. So if you've been working with like UWP, WPF, you know that basically every control, everything is stylable, templatable, you can make your complete whole thing out of it. Um, and that is something more people have been asking for for Xamarin forms as well. Like, hey, you know, it's nice that you map all these things to the native um, counterparts on those platforms, but we want to have that same look and feel across different platforms. So a lot of people, there has been a whole movement of people that have been creating beautiful UIs um, by just composing them of Xamarin Forms controls, basically. Um, and there are crazy beautiful UIs out there. You can find them all in this link. Um, there's uh, uh, other links and other sessions as well, but check out this one and um, you will see that, but it now gets even easier. So now we have control templates, so you can just drop those in into your control. You can make the whole thing just look different, look the way that you want it to, and it will look the same on Android, on iOS, on other platforms. So that is a really good, cool addition to Xamarin Forms 5 that you definitely want to check out. Then number one, this is a sad one. Xamarin Forms 5 will be the last version of Xamarin Forms 5 as we know it. Because, you know, .NET MAUI is on the horizon. It's coming. It's the evolution, which always begs the question, do we need to stop investing in Xamarin Forms? No, you should not. Because .NET MAUI will not take away anything that you know about Xamarin Forms today. You can still use XAML. You can still use MVVM. Um, basically, ideally, you can just rename a bunch of things and you can just start using your app as you normally would with hopefully a big performance boost and other good stuff. Um, in the real world, there will probably be um, some more breaking changes and um, some more renaming and um, using the Android X packages instead of like the other support packages. So um, it will be a little bit more than I'm just saying now but you know it will be the same kind of example there will be a little bit naming differences but everything you learn today can be used with .NET MAUI as well um, but you know whatever is going to happen Xamarin Forms will move into the .NET platform as a first class citizen um, so you know it will be the last form of Xamarin Forms as we know it in, in, in like the current form how it is right now um, so that is sad but you know it's all for the best we're all getting nice new things the team is going to take all the learnings from like all the things in Xamarin Forms they're going to take that and put that in .NET MAUI and um, so like I said nothing is going to be taken away from you but things are going to be added so you can suddenly use now um, probably uh, also an evolution of the C-sharp markup things to write your UI in um, C-sharp with even nicer syntax and nicer things. Um, or they're going to enable the scenario where you can use like Comet, you've probably heard of that, and um, some kind of MVU variant where you can just, you know, um, apply that design pattern to your apps. Um, maybe the Blazor bindings will get a more prominent role or someone will come up with a Skia backend so you can actually draw all the things yourself. So, you know, this opens up a crazy new possibility for all kinds of things. And it's very exciting to see what will happen with this. So um, yes, it's sad right now. Yes, we will have to wait for it a little bit, but it's going to be amazing. And this is a little bit of a different video. Like I said, all the things, five things that you need to know about Xamarin Forms 5. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you like this style of video? Do Should I do this more? Maybe I should talk a little bit about, you know, differences in platforms or like more meta stuff um, where it's just me on camera babbling about things. Or maybe you say, hey, Gerald, you're a nice guy, but I love looking at code more than I love looking at you. Um, who knows? I won't be offended much. Um, let me know in the comments. And of course, as always, like this video if you did like it for some extra encouragement um, and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I will be seeing you for my next video. Oh. Oh, before I forget, um, I also introduced like the um, YouTube channel memberships. So you can become a member to support me a little bit more. There's a couple of tiers. You can find it all um, in the join link that is somewhere down here. Um, but I need to do a shout out to Hendrik Wittke um, from Germany. Um, so I probably should say it like Hendrik Wittke.
um, because you know we're Germany is like right there, so we're kind of neighbors. Uh, who has been um, one of the first to join my memberships? So that is really really awesome. And also Antonio Mario Tuller Jr. Um, I'm very sorry if I'm butchering names here uh, because I am very thankful to you to uh, that you joined my YouTube membership channel. So thank you for that. Uh, this video is dedicated to you. Um, keep watching and uh, let's keep learning together.